Janet, thanks so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. And firstly, I just love it because I've heard about this, um, but if you'd share it for people watching online today okay. about when you first encountered Jesus and how that happened. Well, I was in the sixth form and um, a couple of my friends were Christians and you could see that they were different, particularly Anita, who'd been really a like naughty girl at school in year seven, would be really rude to the teachers and she was really kind and they invited me to meetings at the cathedral called Youth Quake about learning about um, following Jesus. So I got interested and I read a book about a called Basic Christianity by John Stott. And I also, in my lunch break as a Saturday girl, I went out and got a Good News Bible from Smith. And it really was interesting. You know, I could understand it. And um and then just in the quietness of my room, I just made a prayer of commitment because I realised that I couldn't sit on the fence with Jesus anymore. I was either going to follow him or reject him. And I just thought, well, why not, you know, go with Jesus and find out what it's going to be at like. And um, I just made a quote. And nothing amazing happened. It's just carried on as normal. But I did go and find a church. And I was welcomed in this church and I made friends, uh, particularly with Angela. And we were both baptised on the same day together. And, um, yeah, so that's how I first encountered Jesus, yeah. was through people who I could see had something special. Oh, I love that. Thanks, Janet. And also, I remember you said that when you first became a Christian, there was a special Bible verse that spoke to you. But later on, it, you realised why it was so special. Could you share a bit about that and how you encountered God through that? Yes. So um, at my baptism, I had this verse which kind of stood out and it's from Proverbs. And a lot of you will be familiar with it. It's Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 7. And it's basically, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't rely on what you think you know and remember the Lord in everything you do and he'll show you the right way. So, um, oh, I don't know, a few years later, after Martin and I got married, um, we really wanted to try for a family and for various reasons, there was sadness and loss, but we got pregnant and we had Kate. And very shortly after she was born, um, it was realised that she had a heart problem. So Kate got whisked off to Southampton. I with and Martin went, mm -hmm. friends took him, and I stayed in the hospital at Dorchester basically because I couldn't, I just had to wait a few hours. Yeah. And um anyway, someone came and sat with me from my own church and they gave me a card and another card it says, um, I will be with you to the ends of the earth. And I didn't really pay much attention, but I got transferred and I was just left in a kind of low, I had a room of my own, I was just deposited there. And I just felt really upset and cross with God. And I just said, oh, I don't know whether I really believe in you anymore or I want to believe in you anymore. And I'd forgotten about verses that I knew. And then there was a knock on the door and two people from a local church came in and said, we would like to pray with you. And it was like a light had been turned on. And I knew that God was in that situation and I didn't and I shouldn't have relied on what I thought I knew. But I should have relied and trusted in God. And, um, and from then on, I, I, I felt and knew that God, it was going to be OK. Yeah. And you know, um, that God was in that situation. And uh, and Kate had a, a life saving operation, which um, went well. And she's grown up and she's, you know, you've met her. <laughs> and, yeah. um, you know, as, uh, but I think there was a wobble then. And I think. You know, to be honest, I think these do happen, but you can, but God is with you, whatever you face, you know. Yeah. Thank you so much for that really powerful honesty. Um, you know, seasoned Christian that you've been for a long time now, but to just to share that, that we have wobbles, but how God met you mm -hmm. um, through those people and how you felt God with you in that. Yeah. Um, a great story and great I'm really excited because I've I met Kate as you just said and um, she's going to be my first wedding at Christchurch <laughs> that's well, great her and Josh so I'm really excited about that 